Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so in today's video, we're going to give a mid-campaign update uh, for the Epic Warpath uh, Kickstarter campaign from Manta Games. Uh, as you can see on screen, there's roughly seven days to go, and there are some big updates to go through. Uh, so I'm going to try and get through this quickly so it's not as long as the previous videos, but I want to make sure that I hit all of the important updates. All right, so let's jump into it. So first up, uh, the campaign is at $242,000, and when you convert that down into pounds, that's 191,500 pounds. The Kickstarter isn't quite hitting, you know, the crazy high numbers that we would see from, you know, a game that wasn't so niche. Uh, so like a sci-fi 28 mil game. I would have expected higher numbers. We are kind of also in the middle of the mid-campaign lull, uh, which if you're familiar with Kickstarter, that's just the phenomenon that you normally get a surge of backers at the beginning and a surge toward the end. Uh, but in the middle, uh, you, you're not necessarily going to get um, a ton of new backers until that FOMO really, really sets in. And the people that were on the fence in the final days of the campaign will hop in. Now, originally, the first uh, new faction unlock, the Veermen, was set at 250,000 uh, pounds. But this is where we get our first update. So as you can see on screen here, Mantic has adjusted the stretch goal amounts. Uh, so the Vermin actually got unlocked at 175,000 uh, pounds. So the Vermin are going to be in for one of your faction choices in the Pledge Manager. And then they've also detailed out the, the rest of the path forward uh, for the rest of the faction unlocks. So at 225,000 pounds, we'll get the GCPS. Those are going to be your standard human uh, troopers, if you're unfamiliar with the Warpath universe. And then at 275,000 pounds, we're going to get the Marauders, uh, which are going to be Mercenary Orcs. And then our last faction unlock is going to happen at 325,000 uh, pounds. And that's going to be the Nameless which are sort of your, you know, unknown alien horror faction uh, that a lot of sci-fi universes tend to have with miniature games. So with these adjustments uh, to the, the stretch goals, making them easier to hit, as well as detailing out the order that the factions are going to be unlocked, uh, hopefully that will attract new buyers that were maybe on the fence, hoping to see their favorite faction. Uh, in the comments of my previous videos, you know, a lot of people were stating they were surprised that the Marauders, uh, who were, uh, you know, sort of a firefight staple in the 28 mil game, uh, some would even say like one of the premier you know, factions that really got pushed by Mantic, they were surprised that they weren't in the initial four armies that were available. Uh, but as we can see, it is actually fairly reasonable for them to be unlocked before the end of the campaign, especially if we get existing backers to increase their pledges. Um, I know a lot of people from the comments, you know, they went in, uh, with a very basic pledge, and they have plans to update their pledge amount, possibly in the pledge manager. Uh, so having these unlocks listed out so that we know what's coming, and then lowering the stretch goal uh, amounts, I think that's a really positive change. Another big positive change to entice more people to hop into the campaign early, Mantic is now actually showing the math of what you're saving by hopping into the Kickstarter now versus what these products are going to retail for uh, at retail after the game is launched. So here you can see the Lieutenant Pledge is almost a 50% discount. Uh, so you're getting two core army boxes. Again, these are gonna be full 2000 point armies in the box. 
and you're getting them for almost 50% off, uh, which is a really great deal. And here we are at the Captain Pledge level, and you can see the MSRP of four army boxes is going to be 280 pounds. Uh, and again, you're almost getting 50% off uh, with this pledge level as well. Now with the high command, again, you can see 840 pounds MSRP value. And you're getting that for 470 pounds, which is roughly about a 43-44% discount. Uh, for a ton of content. So you're getting four army boxes here, as well as four choices for your reinforcement packs, and then four super heavy uh, boxes as well, which if you missed the previous video, uh, your reinforcement packs and your super heavies, you have a choice of either receiving physical resin models or STL files where you can print as many of the models uh, as you wish. We have had some confirmation uh, from the development team that with the super heavies, uh, you could include, you know, one, two, sometimes three of those in a list. So if you have access to a resin 3D printer uh, or a friend that has a printer, the SDL files might be a more attractive option for you. Uh, with the reinforcement boxes, you know, same deal. If you have that printer and you really like one of the units that are in the reinforcement box, you're able to go ahead and print multiple of them. Uh, but they do give you a pretty good spread of units in the reinforcement box. So if you don't have a 3D printer, getting the physical resin models is just fine. And then for our last pledge level, uh, for the sergeant pledge where you're just coming in with one core army box uh, That's gonna have a MSRP value of a hundred dollars and they're only charging 59 pounds here in the Kickstarter uh, So you're getting that 41% discount there. All right, and also in the previous week uh, we've had some of the artwork uh, for the hidden uh, miniatures that were spoiled for us now. So for the enforcers, uh, we've got the Strider and the Peacekeeper Captain uh, that have been revealed. And for the Plague, we've got the Corruption and the Wolverine Tanks uh, that have also been revealed. Now, the interesting thing with this is the Wolverine Tank is actually shared between three factions. Uh, so the GCPS that have yet to be unlocked and also the Marauder faction both use these Wolverine tanks and they also use a variant of these flyers that have yet to be revealed. Uh, so if we get those unlocked, if they're already working on the Wolverine and they're already working on the flyer and then those two factions also share the mule uh, transport uh, and artillery vehicles so a lot of the vehicles for those factions are actually already being worked on and hopefully that won't create too much overhead in the workflow after the Kickstarter now for the uh, oh god what are these guys called I always I, I just want to call them squats and they're not squats wrong universe the forge fathers uh, so they've had the brokeer infantry as well as the brokeer chief uh and the bikers all uh revealed for us already uh so they still got a couple more units uh left to be revealed before the end of the campaign and last but not least we have the asterians they've unveiled the black talon uh war suits which are a variant of the spectra and then they've also unveiled the Overseer, uh, which I'm imagining is probably a command unit uh, for them. And last but not least, in today's studio update, they've actually given us some pictures of what is going to be included in both of the terrain packs uh, so that the backers have an idea of you know, how many terrain packs they're going to want, how easy it's going to be to 
uh, to use those to get terrain on your battlefield. So here they have a picture of the smaller uh, pack of terrain, and they've got all of the bits sort of laid out on the table uh, so that you can get a good look at what's included. Let me actually see if I can make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. So you can get a pretty good picture of what's going to be included. I'm liking the detail on all of the bits. That all looks really, really good. And then below here, we've got a sample of what can be built out of that smaller pack. Uh, so here it's looking like four buildings of uh, various heights and footprints that you can do. And then we get the same thing uh, for roads in that pack as well. They do include road tiles. Uh, so if you wanted some road work on your table, uh, that's also going to be a part of that pack. And with the large uh, pack, you can see how many more buildings that you're going to, to be able to create. And the last uh, bit of good news with this terrain update is that in a Sergeant Pledge and up, uh, so pretty much everyone who actually buys a physical pledge, uh, you don't just pledge like a pound to get into the pledge manager. Uh, they're actually going to include two free sprues of terrain in all of our pledges uh, for free, uh, which that's really, really awesome. All right, so that's all of the mid-campaign updates. We've got seven days left to try and get those remaining three factions unlocked. Uh, so down in the comments, let me know, are you already a backer? Uh, if you were on the fence, do the changes that they've implemented, is that nudging you uh, to, you know, to back the campaign now? Or if you're interested, but you're, you know, holding off on the Kickstarter, uh, are you waiting for this to get released at uh, retail? Also, if you have any suggestions that, you know, you want to see Mantic uh, implement into the game, or if you have any questions that, you know, you want uh, them to address before the campaign is over, drop those down in the comments below. I will collate everything and then get that over to them. Since, you know, only backers have access to leave comments, I'll get all of those questions and concerns over to them and see if maybe we can get some sort of an update out of them fairly quickly so that people that are on the fence can, uh, you know, make that final decision as to whether or not they want to hop into the game. I think they have a lot of great value here on offer, and I can't wait to see where this game goes. Uh, so that's all I've got for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, staying with the, the Epic Warpath content. And I will see you all in the next video.